Oh, hello there. I'm so happy that you're back. Or if it's your first time, welcome. I'm just gonna go straight into this one because if I explain it, you're pretty much gonna hear the same thing. I've been waiting forever for it. I'm really excited. All of which are true, but not the point. We're going to be looking at the Oki PVC from First Four Figures, the exclusive edition. At the very front of the packaging here, this is actually the second layer of boxes that you get with First Four Figures. The first one is the cardboard box, that's the shipper box. The second one is like the cardboard art box, I like to say. And then the third one is the actual art box. So here's the brown art box. We have Oki in the front with some beautiful flowers here. At the side here, we have Okami with first four figures. Um, I do know that these mean certain things. I just forgot. <laughs> I know it's like the series that they're in and then like the number within that series that they're in. But I don't, I don't know if I'm being honest. I, I don't know. In the back of the box, we see Oki, which... God, that looks so cool. I kind of want a tattoo of that now. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. But it says, Oki will form 9-inch PVC painted statue. Um, this one does have the product number on it. So it is 1,601 uh, out of... I forgot. Well, we'll talk about that later, though. And then First Four Figures and Capcom, because Capcom owns the license. And we have the same thing here at the side. So let's open... The box. Dun, dun 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 Here is the main event. And don't worry, that other box was empty, so don't... <laughs> don't freak out about that. Here we have the aforementioned third layer within the boxes and layers of boxes and all that good stuff. Um, this is not directly the front, so let me put it here. Okay, there. There we go. This is the front here. Um, it is always like this two-layer system where you have to slip the box up, but we'll get to that. We have Oki Wolf form and this like nice little shimmery strip here. You have all that information about the series and the number in the series and all that good stuff. And then all around the box, we just have like the beautiful traditional basically style that we see in Okami. And that it's really, really known for. Uh, Oki here is again that silhouette that we see of his uh, face facing forward and I don't know if you can actually see it in the camera very well there we go it's like a beautiful blue shimmer effect to that wow that looks freaking gorgeous and then we have the Okami logo which I think is the same as the other side and yeah same for this side uh before that though we do have I guess the top layer because of how you would technically open this thing Look at that. Wow, it looks so freaking cool with the lights and <laughs> and like the ring lights. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's actually freaking awesome. It looks like it's glowing. There is painted uh, like a blue painted effect here. So it's only like emphasizing the glow here. But we have the same pattern that we saw on the brown box with the blue foil effect as well as on Oki here too. <laughs> This is one thing I love about First Four Figures. Their packaging is on point, I'm telling you. And finally, at the very, very bottom, we have again that same icon of Oki, which he looks so good here. Come on, like I'm so glad that they use this. Um, and then we do actually have the product number here at the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it. Oh, the air mix is so hard to pull out. <laughs> when you take the top off, here's what we got. We got a beautiful like scroll. And, oh my god, they did such a good job with the packaging. What is life? And the colors. Oh my goodness. Uh, and then they always have the um, card here for you. It's just like a card with the, oh my god, I can never pronounce it right. Authentication number. Hey, there you go. First try. And I did block it out. I think you might be able to see it. And if so, I have to block it out more. But basically, it is a card that comes with the number that is exclusive and like tied to the, the figure after that we took the card out you just want to lift this little panel up here to reveal okay let me put this to the side here and okay just so you know i did kind of pre-check this one already 
and his tail is broken. That's just, just we, we know right away. I've already contacted First Four. Uh, we're working it out. Um, but I wanted to do the, the review anyways because I have to open him up and take pictures anyways to send it back to them. So I was like, you know what? Let's review it anyways. Um, but just know it is broken and you'll see that literally here in a second. <laughs> Look at how good he looks. Um, so the broken part, which I guess you can't see very well because of the lights, is his tail. His tail's supposed to be like overarching here. And uh, yeah, it's it's broken. And it's on the floor, which is never a good sign. And here we have it. I took him out of the uh, art box and here's his regular packaging. If you were to buy the regular edition, this is the packaging that you would get. The other packaging, literally everything else we just saw, is only for the exclusive um, edition. It's got the genuine first four figure sticker, which is nice. And then it tells you about the light up functions. We have Oki here in the front looking gorgeous as all hell. We have a beautiful like glossy effect. You can see it right here with the same. I think it's like a tidal wave. It's just like a pattern that's pretty tied to Japanese culture, which is freaking beautiful and gorgeous. I love how shiny the packaging is overall. And yeah, totally fits in with the theme. Oh my goodness. We have a little bit of the game in the background. I just noticed that that looks so good. Oh my god. Okay, well, here's the side. It looks like, oh my goodness, it's even like slightly raised here, the glossy. What is that? <sighs> There's a name for it, which I'll put on the screen, but yeah. It has that effect pretty much throughout the whole packaging. I like it. Here in the back, we have pictures of Oki with close-ups of his sword. And then here we have a side profile or a three-quarter profile and then a side. And of course the front, which is nice. Very, very nice. We got the same thing on the side as the other side. And we got the same thing on the side as the other side. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, it's actually a little ripped here. Huh. This poor baby, like this whole thing was kind of like messed up. It was stuck in customs for like three months. It was crazy. Like it actually got here during the beginning of December, I believe, to the US. And it was just stuck. It was I could only imagine everything it's been through, so I'm not honestly very surprised that it came broken. Alrighty, I guess that's technically a fourth layer of packaging <laughs> that we just went through. Um, so I'm sure you guys are sick of me, of me talking about that. Let's go ahead and just open him. There is tape on the side here, which you cannot see. There is tape here, here and on the other side. And let's get her open. Get him open. Whoa. Oh, here we have the sacred sword. This thing is huge. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take Oki out carefully because he is broken. And I don't know how broken he is. So let's just... We'll find out together, I guess. Oh, he's... No! The way he just fell off is so sad. There's Oki. That's so sad. Like, why? Why him? Damn. Well, that kind of sucks. We have a charging cable that you can use to charge his base for all his light up features and all that. They it, they have one with every single figure that they give you. So that's, that's still quite nice, actually. Like, oh my goodness. When it gets here, you're so excited. And then, of course, stuff like that happens. And it's just very unfortunate, you know? But yeah, the, his tail was supposed to look like like this. So, but uh, pretty much it's <laughs> it's simple. You've got his uh, sword here that you just want to like put at the very top of his little mane. Let me make sure I got a good grip on that so I don't break anything else. And ta-da! I actually love the way that they uh, put it on there. It's very like... I guess inconspicuous is probably a good word to use. If I probably didn't even point it out, I'm sure someone wouldn't even notice. And I love, love, love that. We have one more thing to go through before we talk about specs and details. At the very, very bottom here, ugh, we have a little bit more information. We have, hey, there you go. Out of 5,000 pieces, mine is 1,601, which is actually very, very good. We have the Okami Oki Wolf form and the battery functionality. So let's go ahead and pull that. <laughs> nice. And then there is multiple uh, lighting functions. One that has static lighting, which is the first one. 
The second one that has like motion lighting, so it looks like Oki's glowing and stuff like that. So like fire, all the good stuff. Let's let's check it out. You see it right there. Wow. So it doesn't look as strong. Let me turn off the lights and see if that is actually a little bit better here. Here it is with that static lighting. You do not have the motion lighting where it looks like ripples of little flame. It is just static and then the eyes don't do anything regardless. So there's what that looks like. I love how much light is actually bouncing off of the bottom of the base because that also just makes it look even brighter. And then the second lighting would be... Here he is glowing. You can see just how much more vibrant that color is. And you can't see it well on the camera, which really sucks, but I can already see him glowing in the dark. <laughs> it looks freaking awesome. I'm getting so damn pumped. I love that they added that. And I believe that the blue parts here, his blue flames, are actually glow in the dark. Here is Oki with just the glow in the dark features. He looks awesome in person. I can't even describe it to you. It's like it is definitely still blue, but obviously glow in the dark kind of has like this um tinge of like green in there and it's it looks gorgeous. It's actually reflecting so much light that I can see the bottom of like the dust cloud under him. Pretty clear actually, like for what it's worth. Let's go ahead and talk about details and specs because this guy has a lot of them. Some of which we already talked about, but let's get into it. This character You've heard me say his name already like a dozen times in this video. Is Oki. He is a character specifically from one of the villages. I'm going to try to keep it spoiler free even though this game is like 10,000 years old. But you should go play it. I don't really want to tell you too much. Try to keep try to keep it a little bit vague. But he is a warrior from one of the villages that you encounter in your adventures as Amaterasu. And there is his weapon there on his back that he uses to fight. Um very cool <laughs> weapon if i do say so myself he is actually a shapeshifter so he can shapeshift from human to wolf and the mask is actually something that embodies their personality when in human form so i think it's kind of interesting that it they also keep it in their wolf form i did get the exclusive edition and his number is 1601 out of 5000 that is worldwide pieces that the have made and manufactured and all that you get the art box that we saw earlier that does not come with the standard edition he also has the lighting mode that you also do not get with the standard edition and finally he has the authentication card hey two for two on that i'm really bad at pronouncing that damn word i'm telling you right now so going back to that lighting function there are technically three modes the first one is off the second one is static lighting and the third one is motion uh, lighting. The statue is pretty big overall. He's actually 8.4 inches or that is 21.3 centimeters. His width is 8 inches exactly, so 20.4 centimeters. And his depth is 11 inches or 27 centimeters. That's freaking awesome. Let's talk about the figure and everything. At the very bottom here we have the beautiful <laughs> roses that we've been seeing uh, all of the other PVC lines, uh, I think pretty much all of them, in First Four Figures for the Okami series have had this uh, scaling here. And then at the very top, the base, which you could just make it black, okay? You could have just made it black and it probably still would have looked good. But what they went the extra mile and they put this beautiful pattern here. Oki looks like he's in like... So uh, he's very obviously in a jumping position. It's very dynamic. I absolutely love it. Okay, we, I always talk about how I hate static poses. It could be done, you know, it could be done right and that's fine. But you see Oki here jumping and there's clouds and just like probably dust and debris of all that, whatever, you know? And you see that here, it has a stylized visual to it. It is not like realistic clouds. I'm going to use his little tail here as an example because <laughs> it's easy to pick up and just show you. But here, the painting is just oh, freaking amazing. The transition between the red to the blue to like the black here at the very tip of his tail is fantastic. And 
we actually see a lot of those shade ranges as well in other parts of the figures actually. We see here we have the very very tips of Oki's hair being this lighter almost even like pink color and then at the very very base of that tough hair we have more of a dark red um to like almost even a burgundy actually it's it's freaking gorgeous my goodness even in his mask here it's a little bit smaller and it's a little harder to see but you actually can see that the base overall is like a dark blue but then right down the middle of the mask we have a highlight of lighter blue so it really makes the mask pop there and i love it so much the sword is actually a little bit of a different uh theme here that we got going on especially compared to the rest of the figure it's like a wood that has a totem pole there for the very base and it's super weathered super textured you have paint that's fading probably from years that this thing has been used and the small little dips of color that they do have like the yellow the baby blue the red they all pop and then obviously at the very bottom we have his necklace with the little fang ornament and that also has like a bright orange to a more like khaki color and even the transition between that is so fantastically done the final thing i want to talk about is the flame the flame can we oh my guys come on the flame like right now the way that the light is hitting it has like a pearlescent effect to it and like shimmering shining pearlescent like a uh, color and effect it's literally blowing me away 10 out of 10 for this one guys what the hell but let's go ahead and talk about the price now because obviously with so much detail and all the lighting functions and the glow in the dark how much does this thing cost right i paid 134 and 99 cents not including tax and that is not including any um shipping that i had to pay additionally so yes he is quite expensive um in terms of figures and the quality of figures i would say uh within his same size and quality he's a very good price he is a very good price indeed and come on if you're an okami lover you you kind of have to i hope that you enjoyed this video i'm so sad that he's broken still but i do not mind i'm contacting customer service we'll get it figured out and He's going to look great on my shelf. I'm putting him right over there with all the other PVCs. And yeah, I'll see you next time. I have a really juicy one for the next video, so make sure to just stop by. Bye, everyone.